Hi, I'm George Forcier, editor Hi. of the Greenfield Recorder, and this is Andy Castillo, uh, one of our staff reporters. Uh, Andy's just written a story for the 4th of July edition about uh, the early uh, revolution in this area. Um, and he's learned that early historian, uh, the local historians tell us that in those early days, the town of Deerfield, which is the northernmost outpost in these areas, um, was fairly evenly split between uh, the rebels and, and the loyalists. Do you want to explain it more, Andy? Yeah, so this was a year before the American Revolution started in 1775, and the people in power in Deerfield, uh, the minister, the lawyer, uh, they were all heavily Tory. They, they really threw their weight behind the, the British. And all of that sort of changed closer to the revolution. And um, there was a toast made by a representative from Deerfield who came back from Boston carrying news. It was a toast by Samuel Adams. Sam Adams being a, a, a revolutionary, right? One of, the, one of the founding fathers. Yeah, he started the Sons of Liberty, which is kind of the secret organization that went around drumming up support in local towns. And this was the toast. It said, uh, may the fair fields of America be watered with the blood and manured by the ashes of its malignant enemies. That's pretty tough stuff. It's very intense, but I think it captures the heart of the, the controversy, the tension that was in the town, which we don't think about that. I mean, it was neighbors against neighbors, mm -hmm. people that supported the British versus the rebels. Amazing, uh, when you think about it in those terms. Uh, Andy's written a lot about this uh, in our 4th of July edition, and um, so be sure to pick up a copy of the paper and, and, and read more. Thank you, Randy.